I had two error codes in my first three games. I had to go and go basically 9-0. and In my last board, with nine picks left, I got the grand prize. Now, you're wondering, wow, I should go and play draft mode because it's super easy to get the takeover player, right? Well, yeah, you are right. But let's look at draft mode, right? If you don't have a ticket, it is 21,000 MT or 7,500 BC. Is this worth the gamble? In this video, I'll be showing you guys what other prizes you get besides the ultimate prize, which is the takeover player. Are those other prizes worth your buck? Is it worth the entry fee? Stay tuned to this video. Originally, I started this draft last week because I thought that Lamar Odom would carry over as the grand prize, and it turns out that that wasn't the case. So that's why we have all the limitless players. But overall, I cannot be angry at this draft. This is probably one of the best draft teams in the draft, honestly, for this week. I had Curry. I had basically the Curry duo. Those boys were going crazy. I had Giannis Antetokounmpo. I had Rudy. I had Paul Gasol. I have AD. This team was stacked. And in our first game, you'll see that we only get one prize board, which is totally fine. It's the first game. In that first game, we start off with a badge award pack. You never know. We might get Limitless. We might get Clamps. We might get something really good from it. So, not bad. Game number two, we still have one pick and we get two tokens. Game three, we have two picks now. Our first pick is 250 MT. And then we get 250 MT again. With a total of 500. Game number four. We spawn in with two picks, 200 MT, and two tokens. Not looking too good, but it is the first board. It is the first level. I'll give them that. Our fifth game, we had a headache. We ran up against a guy who was 7-2 and two and did not want to lose, even though, as you see on the screen, I was winning 16 of 4. This guy was stalling me. You can see in the pictures, I tweeted about this. This guy was giving me a threat that basically he was gonna give me an auto loss, try to error code me out of there. But thankfully, I got the win. And I got the last laugh too. Because, you know, as he saw the intro, I got what he wanted. In our fifth game, we finally get out of the first board with two picks left. So you see that beautiful Andre Iguodala card that I want so badly. Go up to the second level. Our first pick is going to be 500 MT. And the second pick is going to be 500 MT again. So 1000 MT, not the best, not the worst. In our sixth game, we spawn in with three picks of the second board. Our first pick is going to be 300 MT. Second pick is another badge reward pack. And for our last pick, we get three tokens. Our seventh game, we spawn into this board with five picks. Can we finally get out of this? Four tokens, we start off. And we get five tokens. Can we get six tokens next? Hey, uh, I don't know the future, but we got six tokens. But then they tactically downgraded us to two tokens. That was pretty much like a token board in our eighth game. We are ready to spawn in with six picks. We got three tokens, two tokens, a free agent player pack, which is pretty good for collector level. Let's take that three tokens, six tokens, and a diamond shoes. In our ninth game, I actually forgot to record the part where we hit the level up part, so that's on me. 
But anyway, we are finally here at the top four, the grand prize board with three picks in our ninth game. Let's see what magic we can make. We started off with that bonus. That bonus hit us with 2,500 NT. We got 500 NT more. And five tokens. Not bad. And as you guys saw in the intro, our 10th and final game, we had 11 picks. And after that 10th pick, nine picks left for number nine. And we got the grand prize. So, so far, I mean, I got the grand prize, but what else have I got in the show for? Maybe like four to 5,000 MT and some tokens. I mean, is it is it worth the 21,000 MT? Like, yes, I can get the grand prize, but also there's going to be a time where I can't get the grand prize. The grand prize isn't guaranteed. Let's keep on moving, though. We have eight picks still in this top board. Let's see if we can get something to make up for it. Three tokens, 400 MT, really, and a top board. There we go. That, that's what I want to see more of, 1,000 MT. There we go. We're starting to hit some good MT amounts. Three tokens is a little low for the top board. We hit a beautiful times three multiplier. Oh, yeah, 1,500 MT. I love to see that and five tokens so guys you as a viewer you see the prizes right on your screen if you don't have a draft ticket is it worth going in there the only reason you are going to draft let's be honest the only reason you are you are going to the draft is to get the grand prize because basically there's really nothing that great if, it, if you don't get the grand prize, you basically miss out on that 21,000 MT. You're probably not going to see that ever again because you're not gaining 21,000 MT back. That's not happening. The VC, you definitely ain't gaining it back because this is my team and you get my team points back. So all I'm saying is that, yes, draft is a great game mode to try to get the takeover card. But what about the other rewards? Can we get a buff to the rewards? Like I shouldn't be getting three tokens and 400 MT in the top board, you know, especially when I'm paying 21,000 MT to start my draft run. I should get a little bit more in return, don't you think? I just want draft mode to be better and well more rounded. Like, yes, you can get the grand prize, but what about the other rewards? Can we get more MT? Can we get more tokens? Other things that are valuable in this game. I want draft to be a better rewarding game mode. Those are my thoughts. Those are my two cents. Let me know in the comment section down below if you agree with me or if you don't. Thank you for watching the video.